What up, everybody? This is your boy, BQ. Welcome to the Impact Lounge YouTube channel, the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. So make sure that you are a subscriber if you are a fan of Impact Wrestling. Now, every week I do a top 10, top 8, top 7, whatever list is on my brain for that particular week, I will drop a video on it. But this week and the next two weeks, as a matter of fact, so this week and next week, going to do things a little bit different. I've come up with 20 ways to fix Impact Plus and Twitch as far as the monthly specials. Now, we have many problems to choose from when it comes to those sometimes there's not butts in the seats sometimes it looks bad sometimes it sounds bad sometimes people just don't care it doesn't come across like it's important so there's a, there's a multitude of things we have to look at when we want to improve the twitch and impact plus monthly specials and how can we get more eyes how can we get more butts in the seat. So this is going to be a two-parter. Right now, I'm going to go through 10 of them. Now, it's going to be a little bit different. This is going to be a little bit more of a podcast format than the normal slideshow that I normally do. Reason for that is because I want to promote that in 2020, wherever you stream your podcast, just look up the Impact Lounge. It's going to be more of an Impact Lounge podcasting network now. Not only are you going to get total nonstop impact, the B side with myself. You're also going to get shooting up north with Lewis Carlin and the Talking Bow podcast with Terrence Williams. So we're going to be giving lots of Inc. Impact Wrestling content to you guys. So wherever you stream your podcast, let's look up the Impact Lounge, subscribe, and in 2020, it's about to get crazy. The podcast probably won't be weekly. Some of them will be more bi-weekly because I don't want to shove too much at you, but we got a lot of content coming your way if you're an Impact Wrestling fan. So make sure wherever you stream your podcast to look up the Impact Lounge. And right now, there's no script or nothing. I'm just kind of podcasting going off the brain as I read these bullet points. 10 ways that I would fix the Impact Plus and Twitch monthly specials. All right, so number one is going to be the aesthetics. Now, what we understand as Impact fans, as hardcore fans, we understand that these are house shows and that they're going to be in small... I don't even call them arenas, and that's fine because we get it. They're house shows, and there's just a couple people, a couple hundred people in the crowd. But it has to look better on television. There's still a standard that we must get. And it's almost embarrassing when they're posting these clips on Twitch and Facebook because you can see in a lot of cases where if there's not many people there, or you can see the baskets folded up because you're in a gymnasium, you can see high school banners, things like that. It has to look better because this was a company that once upon a time, you know, could do pay per views with 5,000, 8,000 people in the crowd. Now, obviously, we're in a different place, but it has to look better, especially if you're posting these clips on social media. So the aesthetics must improve. It doesn't matter if you're putting a black tarp, a black you know, curtain, something like that out there. I don't, I don't know what is you want to do. If you want to have better lighting, but it has to look better. There's no excuse for it to not look better. It doesn't matter if it's a house show. It has to look professional. If you walk into a restaurant and it looks like shit, it's dirty, it's unkept. It doesn't matter what the food tastes like. You're probably not going to want to eat there. All right, number two. So this one's going to be really common sense, but it's going to be to fix the audio and the visual problems that they're having. Now, in 2019, 2020 now, it's not okay anymore to get that tweet saying due to technical difficulties, the show's not going to be on. It's going to be on tomorrow. You got to watch on Fight TV. Now, No, no Surrender was one of the shows that people actually gave a shit about wanting to watch and stream it live, and then they couldn't do it. Now, this is okay one or two times, but once it happens three, four, five times, and it's happened many, many times, people are going to tune out. They are not going to care anymore. And as I said with the aesthetics, you Matt, you pair that up with the audio and the visual if that is not on point people can watch one time and say i'm not going to do this there's a matter of fact there was one show that i was watching and the audio was so bad that after the match i turned it off and i never even cared to turn it back on i remember penta does iowa i think it was a not only an audio problem but i think the light the lighting problem as well I, I got through two matches. I said, I don't want to do this anymore. So people are going to lose interest and you have to fix these little things. These are not okay. We expect this as a worldwide wrestling company. We expect these little things to not be a problem when we're watching the show, listening to the show. They have to be fixed in 2020. By the way, make sure you stay tuned to the very end because number 10 is one of the big ones for me, one of the game changers. So make sure you hang around all the way to number 10. And the next week, I'm going to come back with part two of this video and give you 10 more ways to fix Impact Plus and Twitch. But number three, this is one I've been talking about a long time on my channel, and it's change the play-by-play -play announcer. Now, they've replaced Don Callis with Scott Neumore on most of these shows. And in my personal opinion, Scott does a much better job. He brings more value. He brings more to the 
the table. He's more consistent in the way that he calls matches and his character. There's a lot more consistency and he's just better. He just brings more to the table and he really puts his knowledge out there in a way that's easy to enjoy. Josh Matthews is all things Impact Wrestling. Now, I like Josh. I think Josh does a good job. I think he does a better job than people give him credit for. But he is all things Impact Wrestling. It doesn't matter if it's Impact Television. It doesn't matter if it's Instagram Live. It doesn't matter if it's Facebook Live. It doesn't matter if it's a podcast. It doesn't matter if it's a media teleconference. Everything is Josh Matthews. And what happens is people tend to tune those voices out after a while or tune the faces out when that's all we get all the time. So take this opportunity to bring a young play-by-play announcer because we deserve to get a different soundtrack sometimes. And it's very important that these shows feel different. And if they feel just like the Weekly Impact show, how does that differentiate them? So I really feel like a new play-by-play announcer, someone who just, they could just come on and do these shows. They don't have to be a bigger part of the company. They don't have to be Josh Matthews replacement one day, but just a new voice so that we do not tune out what Josh says. Number four is going to be to create new matches and new themes. Now, why do I say this? When it comes to new matches, TNA has a history of very creative matches. Sometimes they're really good and sometimes they're really, really bad. But I would rather watch the uh, a new version of the Reverse Battle Royal on, on a new Impact Plus show than I would just watch the same shit that I see every single month. Now, these cards they put together are more often than not pretty good but when we have these creative minds as much as i thought race for the case was one of the worst things i've ever seen in the world i would watch race for the case on twitch give us a reason to tune in say this is why it's different than the weekly impact show there's got to be some kind of stakes there's got to be some kind of something different and if you think about the mashup tournament that was to me one of the coolest concepts they'd ever come up with. But no press releases were sent out. You know, not even on social media did we understand what the concept of the tournament was until the end because they kept talking about, oh, Sammy's teaming with Tessa Blanchard. We all knew they were going to win a tournament. So we didn't care about anything else and we didn't care about what the other teams were. But there could have been more creative ways that they announced the teams, that they announced the matches. And the concept should have been something that the wrestling world knew about and was excited about because it it was that cool of an idea. But instead, it was just treated like nothing. It wasn't promoted well. And, you know, I really do think that Impact Creative has some really, really good ideas. But why not make them exclusive, if you can, to these monthly shows? Maybe it's not every single month, but every other month, hey, here's a new concept that we're going to try out. Again, I would watch the Reverse Battle Royal on one of these shows, straight up. Number five is gonna be to highlight at least one talent. So let's say there's three independent talents on the show that most of us have never, ever heard of. Bring that person in for one day of Impact Wrestling taping, so two episodes. Have them wrestle a couple matches. They might get their ass kicked by Moose one week and Michael Elgin the next. But maybe you're building that underdog story to where we've already seen this person wrestle on TV a couple times, and now we already know one of the names that we're gonna get on Twitch and Impact Plus. You know, instead of these just being total unknowns to us, now we say, okay, we've, we're have we already getting behind this guy a little bit. He's lost a couple matches. You can start laying the groundwork for a story. And maybe that's someone that they're really scouting, but it's a great way for the company to put him out there and get some feelers. It's a great way for us to get to know that person ahead of time and maybe want to check them wrestle again. Maybe they show just enough flashes of brilliance in those two losses to where we say, yeah, I want to see what this guy what he can do, what else he can bring to the table. So I'm going to watch the match this weekend. Now, maybe you don't do that. Maybe you don't bring someone on and highlight them, but maybe you do have those three indie stars and maybe between commercial breaks, instead of little segments or little bad comedy segments, maybe you take 15, 20 seconds to do real quick clips of those three stars. Like this person is going to be at the Twitch show this week and they're going to take on so-and-so and And it can be indie clips of them doing three, four, five, six of their, their top moves, their move set. So we just get an idea of who the hell we're going to see. And again, so they don't just feel like someone we've never heard of before, like some kind of nobody. All it takes is 30 seconds watching a 30 second clip. Now here's the thing, Impact Wrestling, the show, the show has the most number of eyes on it, not Twitch, not YouTube, 
definitely not Twitter, not Facebook, not Instagram. The Weekly Impact Show has the most eyes on it. So how can we use that show to better promote what they're doing with Impact Plus and Twitch? Number six, instead of the flashbacks, because most of us don't care about the flashbacks, and you're using the flashback to promote Impact Plus, mind you, but most of us don't care about it. Most of us go to the bathroom. Most of us fast forward. We don't care about watching Christopher Daniels win the X Division Championship at this juncture. We care about what's going on with Impact Wrestling now, but since you're already in the the mode of we want to get you to subscribe to Impact Plus, instead of showing us those old matches, do a little report. Gabby can host it. Melissa can host it. Kind of like Mean Gene O used to do back in the days he used to promote house shows on wwf programming or the pay-per-views whatever it is you can take that five minutes instead of showing us ken shamrock winning winning the nwa championship you can give us a little report that's you know it's in a studio setting it's got one of the girls they're going through the matches maybe they even announce the fucking matches maybe they you know instead of doing on social media again most eyes are watching the television product instead of announcing matches maybe you're announcing matches there and maybe those wrestlers are doing little promos kind of like again if, if you grew up in the 80s and probably part of the 90s where you're watching the WWF programming and they're going to be at the Los Angeles Sports Arena this weekend and it's just little backstage promo segments. I mean, these girls are the backstage interviewers. They have a probably have a microphone on them. So give them a chance to let these wrestlers speak and build up the matches just a little bit. But you can take that five minutes and instead of showing us a match that most people are checking out for, you can just give us something different. Give these wrestlers an opportunity, even the the unknowns, an opportunity to cut promos and again, announce matches. There's so much that you can do within that five minutes if it's focused on the Impact Plus and Twitch shows. And with that being said, say one week you do Twitch, the next one you do Impact Plus. Now you can take those other two weeks and show your AJ Styles matches. And now people might care a little bit more because they're not getting them every single week. Number seven, deliver a clear call to action. Just like I do here at the Impact Lounge YouTube channel, the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. If you're a first timer, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up as well. Clear as day. Let people know exactly what you want from them, what you expect from them. Now, when it comes to the WWE Network, if you guys remember that and that campaign, it was a $9.99. It was super annoying, but everybody knew what it was, how much you were paying for it and what you were getting for it. And they don't do a good job with the Impact Plus or the Twitch app for that matter of letting us know what we can expect with the app. You can't just say download Impact Plus, let people know what the free version gives you. I don't really know because I pay for it. With that being said, I don't even know what I pay for it because it's not really drilled in my head. I just know I pay for it monthly. But when it comes to the free one, I think it's Impact and Explosion. You let them know you get free episodes every week of Impact and Explosion. If you pay the $7.99. And yeah, sometimes they do do this, but it has to be drilled in people's head. If you pay the $7.99, you're going to get this and this and this and this. But you're going to get the monthly specials. And then you have some kind of marketing campaign behind that. Why it's important for them to download the app to get these monthly specials and why. And all these other things I'm talking about, if all those are in place, then the show is going to be a lot bigger of a deal. And people are going to care. And it's going to be of more of interest to people. Number eight, when it comes to putting butts in the seats, you got to put the butts in the seats. You have to. You can't be okay with 50 people showing up if that's what happens. There was a show in Oklahoma not too long ago that clearly there wasn't many people there. We know there were many people there. You can see it. You can hear it. So by all costs, you have to put people in the seats. I understand once upon a time, TNA could fill arenas you know, with 5,000 people. They're not there at this juncture. So what do you got to do? Whatever it takes to put butts in the seats. So the first two weeks that you're selling the tickets or maybe it's the last two weeks. I don't know. I would go with the first two weeks. You say we're running a two for one special for general admission. I'm going to talk about the other rows probably in the next video, but you say general admission two for one. So if someone was going to, you know, bring their, their spouse, their friend, their mate, whatever it is, two of them. Now you're going to bring a third person there. If only 10 people take advantage of that, that's still another 10 people in the crowd and 10 people in a small arena on television does make it look more fuller than what it is and that's 10 more people making noise so that's at a minimum you know but maybe more people take advantage of it but what you want to do instead of just saying hey tickets are going on sale hey for the first two weeks or the first week if you act now you can get a third ticket a third general admission ticket for free Then number nine, we're talking about, again, butts in seats. I don't care if you go around to a damn 
Boys and Girls Club and give them free tickets. You have to get butts in the seats, but I'm going to throw something at you a little bit different. Maybe this is some, something that Impact does already. I want to say they most likely don't because you can see it and you can hear it. But a lot of the independent stars, they they have to sell their own tickets or they give away tickets. Like there is a bit of a responsibility for them to get people in the audience. So you put that same responsibility, but don't ask them to sell tickets. Give each of these independent stars 10 to 20 tickets each, general admission, and say there's three independent stars on the card. They get 10, 10 tickets each. They give them all out, and that's another 30 people in the crowd. Now, what I said just before this, you run the two for one. Say that's an extra 10. That's now an extra 40 people in the crowd that in a small setting that they do for these shows it's going to look better and it is going to sound better all right and number 10 bring back the knockouts championships i wouldn't say bring back the knockouts championship on the weekly impact television programming that would probably be very difficult to do but sky's the fucking limit with impact plus and twitch you're traveling all over the united states you've even done a couple shows in the uk's and there's talent on tap. These companies can give you two women a challenge for the championships. That, that, that's a guarantee. And it doesn't matter if it's Kira and Madison who are the champions. If they're just the traveling champions on Impact Plus and Twitch, people are going to care about that because people like watching the knockouts. But imagine you bring back the knockouts championships, the tag team championships, something that a lot of people want. Again, you probably couldn't do it on the main program, but you could get away with it on Twitch and Impact Plus. And there's also, because this is live, we know there's a chance that we could get a title change that we weren't expecting that we don't know ahead of time. And what if two local independent talents win those championships? We'll bring them with you uh, the next night to Twitch or bring them with you next month. Maybe that's a couple names you're booking, a couple extra names. Probably can book them for fairly inexpensive because they're relative unknowns, but they can still hold those championships and they can travel with you. Now people are getting to know those girls. They're getting to know those talents. It gives them a better, bigger platform, a bigger name, and it gives Impact a reason and a chance to scout these people even further. But when it comes to the Knockouts Tag Team Championship and these championships and these two free shows, Sky is the freaking limit. Thanks for checking out 10 ways I would fix the Impact Plus and Twitch shows. And I'm coming back with 10 more reasons in just a few days. Make sure you subscribe if it's your first time here at the Impact Lounge. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.